Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. We're here looking at our quad screen system running Microsoft Flight Sim. And as you probably know, we're an X-Plane shop here. We prefer X-Plane. But we do support Microsoft Flight Sim because we have some customers that, for whatever reason, have to run Microsoft Flight Sim. Do keep in mind I'm running the Steam edition of Microsoft Flight Sim, which costs a whole $25. So if you have a boxed copy of Microsoft Flight Sim, it may not do some of the things you're seeing here because the Steam edition of Microsoft Flight Sim has the very latest code. So it's possible your boxed copy won't do what I'm about to show you. In the past, we have to disable this monitor to run Microsoft Flight Sim up here because it would just get in the way. It would just would cause all kinds of problems. But as you can see now, we're able to run Microsoft Flight Sim up here and we're not having any trouble. We can look all around in the cockpit just fine. And we got, of course, really nice frame rate. But now we have this extra monitor down here. We want to try to use that for something, right? Why not? So let's look at some of the things you can do. I can open up a new uh, view, and I can drag it down here. So this is just another cockpit view at the moment, nothing special. But I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose the radio stack. And look at that, we have the radio stack up nice and close where we can see it and manipulate it. And um, you know, it's just right there, nice and big. Um, we can even zoom in on it just a little bit if we want. Uh, some other things you can do with it. Um, if we do, let's say we want to do the engine controls, we can zoom right in on the engine controls and that way we can see, you know, if we, um, you know, make changes to the engines and such, we can see what those are doing. Um, and then if you, you can have different things you can do with other aircraft. Now, before you switch aircraft, it seems to work best if you go ahead and close this window before switching aircraft. And I'm going to go and I'm going to open up um, a helicopter. So here we are in a helicopter and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to open up a new view and I'm going to open a virtual cockpit view, bring it down here, stretch it out real fast, and then you can, you can play with this. You can zoom in and out and so forth, but kind of get this, you know, where you're looking down out of the bottom where you normally, and we're about to, whoops, I'm about to kill us here. But you can see, let me pause this before we die, um, how you can see out of the bottom here where the foot, foot well is, where normally you can't see that up here. And so you can, you can see down below. Um, the other thing you can do is you can, you can have it zoomed in on the radio stack, just like we did before. Um, and it's probably the main ways you would use the view in this particular aircraft. So I'm going to switch aircraft. As I mentioned before, you probably want to close this window for switching aircraft. That seems to work best. And I'm going to go um, select another aircraft. And let's select... Oh, what do we want here? Let's do another helicopter, the Robinson. And... As you can see, you can't really even see any of the instruments here. So view, uh, the virtual cockpit view, we'll drag that down and we'll stretch it out. And now we can do kind of whatever we want to with this. We can do the radio stack. And that way we're not having to block any of our view up here. We can have the radio stack right there. Or we can do the virtual cockpit view and we can actually angle this down a bit um, and actually, if you look on this one, you're not really able to see out of the footwell, so maybe not quite as useful, but you can see your instruments that you can't see up here. So that's how it could be useful on this plane. And let's do, uh, do one more. Close that window, and let's open another aircraft. This time, let's do the Learjet, maybe? Sure, why not? So we're in a Learjet now. I'm going to open up that view and uh, I'm going to 
drag it down here, okay, and then I can say that I want to look at the radio stack, for instance. So there's a lot of information there that you can see um, that you normally couldn't see up here. Or you could say you want to look at the engine controls. Or lastly, you could just have another cockpit view, virtual cockpit view. And you can take and just aim this um, monitor anywhere you want. You can even move your eye point over to the side a little bit if you want to kind of center this. There's a hot key for that. I can't remember that hot key off the top of my head, I don't believe. Yeah, I'm moving it to the left there. But um, you can see how there's a lot of flexibility in this fourth screen. So um, that's how I use the fourth screen if I was using Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, I'll do one more aircraft and probably push my luck here. I have not pre tried out these planes. This is one I've never opened before, so it's asking me a bunch of questions about am I sure I really want to run the software associated with this plane? Come on. All right. So now we have this plane opened. And then we're going to go to view, new view, virtual cockpit. So we'll drag this on down, see how we can use this. So down here we could um, again look at the engine controls, which we can't see up here. We could um, also look at flap and trim, which we have down here, but this is right between the seats. Uh, what other views do we have? Control panel. So there's that view. We have the right seat. That's of limited use. And then, of course, we're back to the virtual cockpit where we can take this thing and just kind of aim it wherever we want. We can also go up top and actually make, you know, show a little bit more scenery and less of the uh, instrument panel and use the instrument panel down here a little bit more. So there's yet another plane to kind of show you how you could use this fourth display. Hopefully that helps you understand how Microsoft Flight, Flight Sim can work with the quad screen system.